Hey, good morning, everyone. I know it's been a while. I haven't filmed in English in a year, uh, but I think it's time to change that. And I was thinking about going back to filming in English for such a long time, but I just couldn't make it. And I don't know what was stopping me. And suddenly today I felt like, yes, today is the day. I'm back, baby. <laughs> so I'm getting ready. Okay, so I woke up today. I had I had a pretty good sleep. Sorry, I haven't filmed in English in ages. I had a pretty good sleep, uh, but um, it was so difficult to wake up today in the morning. But even though it was difficult, I woke up at 7.05, got ready, made myself a coffee, and I thought, that's it. I don't want to do anything. But then I've been... I also had another thought because I've been staying pretty busy and I've been working out almost every day and I use my electronic I use an e-watch I use a watch from Garmin and it measures my calories uh, uh, how many calories I burn it measures my steps and like few other indicators and I've had amazing statistics I've been working out almost every single day and I thought that I don't want to destroy my statistics so mainly because of that, I decided that I'm gonna hit the gym today. So I'm just having a morning coffee. And as soon as I'm done with that, I change into gym clothes. And as soon as I'm done with that, I'm gonna do a little bit of a cardio and a little bit of the weights. Um, I had a leg day yesterday. So my legs and my butt are killing me. And there's been so much that happened in between. Uh, there's been so much that happened in the last year that I didn't tell you about, so I don't even know where to start. Uh, but I think this is gonna be a good start to start here. <laughs> I know I'm mumbling, but it's early in the morning and I'm not really used to filming in English in front of my camera, so please be kind. And I hope I'm gonna show you an interesting day today. Uh, we're gonna drive a little bit around Changu and I don't know what else is waiting today. Hopefully something interesting, but I can't promise that. We will see. All right, I'm done with my morning coffee. It's time to hit the gym. I have just finished my workout and I wanted to take you for a small walk. Uh, we're going nowhere. This is a dead end street and I just wanted to come here because I thought that it was going to be a little bit more quiet, but it's actually super windy. So it's probably going to be very, very noisy. I uh, just finished the workout and uh, today was a little bit different than what I normally do uh, because there were some classes in a class that I usually work out. So instead of doing 30 minutes of weights and 30 minutes of cardio, I did 50 minutes of cardio and 20 minutes of weights. So I'm not really that impressed with my workout and even though I worked out for almost over one hour, I feel a little bit disappointed because I couldn't do what I always do and I couldn't film my workout the normal way that I usually do. But uh, it's my fault because I came, I, I need to check the class's schedule for the next time so I don't overlap it. I don't like working out with all the guys and I feel that I'm still new in the gym area, in the gym society, so I'm not a pro and I'm always worried that someone is gonna laugh at me and someone is gonna laugh at the way that I do my workouts and um, I feel a little bit shy. So that's why I usually prefer to uh, work out in a separate room um, at, um, it is what it is. Tomorrow I'm gonna take you again, probably, because I've been working out almost every day. And um, it's 
a.m. and I've done 7,000 steps. Uh, my goal is to make 10,000 steps. Um, I got really obsessed with the numbers on my watch. I think now I'm gonna go home and work a little bit and on the way home I need to buy some ingredients for my breakfast but I'm gonna have my breakfast a little bit later because I've been doing intermittent fasting. So I need to buy chickpea flour to make a wrap and a salad. I need to make a list of stuff to buy. It looks like it's gonna rain. That's not good. So we are on the main road in Changu. It's called uh, Jalan Raya Changu. It's usually very, very busy, but today is okay. It's not the worst. And behind me, there is one of my favorite stores on the island. Uh, the store is called Soil Food Temple. And it's just amazing because you can buy any possible type of flowers. I'm gonna get a chickpea flower. You can buy banana flower, whatever that is. I didn't know that something like banana flower even existed. You can buy chickpeas, you can buy, what else? Um, so many different types of herbal teas. Um, it's pretty good for healthy and not the most popular stuff. So I'm getting my things from here. Oh, I one, one thing that is really, really interesting that you can buy here is pea protein. So pretty good if someone can take tofu and is vegetarian and need to increase their um, protein intake. Look at this, I'm gonna show you some stuff. So you can get banana flour, semolina flour, almond flour, and um, where is it? Coconut flour, oat flour. Like I didn't even know that you can get an oat flour. It makes sense, but I just didn't know. And I need to find a chickpea flour. Hopefully it's still here and it hasn't finished because I need it for my breakfast. Look at this, buckwheat flour. I think I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna get a little bit and experiment. Hmm. I ended up buying two different types of flour. So I got chickpea flour and buckwheat flour. For these two, I paid uh, 140,000. Oh, well, it's so noisy. The traffic is getting heavier. My favorite place is to buy fresh fruits and vegetables and tofu. Uh, it's always local markets and Look at this, beautiful. And the prices are also much better than international shops. And you can always find something really interesting like this. <laughs> or you can find jackfruit, boiled peanuts, but this is not what I'm here for. I'm here for tofu. And there we go. You can buy a lot of tempeh as well, but I'm over tempeh. I prefer tofu now. Hey, Zosha. Hi, little baby. Is Peanut with you? So I need to put my dogs inside. Ah, Zosha just escaped. Peanut, go inside. Go inside the house. Hi, baby. Go inside. Go, 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 go. Go inside the house. Good job. Go, go, go. Go inside, Peanut. You're so stubborn. Go inside. I know. Come on, come on. Good job. This is my ritual. Every time I come back home, I need to put my dogs inside the house, but Zosha usually escapes. It's okay, she's gonna be back in five minutes. She usually just say hi to, their fr to her friends and run around the rice field. There's a big rice field on the side, um, but Pina just had a surgery a few days ago, so I can't let her go out. And we're home, home sweet home. So I finished writing my script and I think it's time for me to cook some breakfast. It's um, 11.30 and I was just busy for 20 minutes cleaning up my dog's puke. I have no idea what happened exactly, but I think she digged in a garbage bin and she puked 10 times, maybe eight times, but like big massive pukes. So hopefully she's feeling a little bit better. She's just like wandering around and sniffing everywhere. So there might be more puke coming, hopefully not, but 
I'm just amazed. She's such a small dog. She puked a lot. Oh my God, what a garbage dog. I found really nasty stuff. Oh, never mind. This is nasty to talk about. So I finished writing a script and I was uh, writing a script about uh, block out 2024. It's quite an interesting topic and I film my, my main channel is in Polish. So I don't think anyone has covered this topic in Polish yet. So I'm going to be probably the first one. I'm not feeling the best today. I feel like uh, I'm getting, I'm catching, I'm, I'm getting a little bit sick. So I'm gonna fight that. Maybe I'll feel a little bit better after I eat. I'm gonna make a wrap from buckwheat flour. So I'm gonna experiment in the kitchen a little bit and just um, stuff it with small light salad. This is um, something I've been eating almost every day. I just make variations of tortillas. I try to make different ones almost every day. Uh, it's a good breakfast. I get everything I need, I get enough proteins, and it's just yummy as well. So I'm gonna show you what I'm making. I'm gonna blend um, English spinach, buckwheat flour, I added a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and water. So just gonna blend it together, and hopefully this will give me a nice texture, it will give me a nice mixture, and then I'll just fry it. So it should be very simple, hopefully it tastes good as well. I just love it when my dogs get so curious about what I'm doing, so I'm just introducing a blender to Zosia. She seems happy. <laughs> this is a blender, Zosia. Yeah? Good. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot, so I want to make my wraps high protein, so I'm just going to add tofu to it and blend it together. I've tried it yesterday and it actually worked out fine, so hopefully it will work this time as well. Do you want to watch it again? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> this is looking nice and thick and I just heated up a pan. So let's see what, what we're gonna get. I need both of my hands to pour it on the pan. So I'll just show you the result. Looks like the buckwheat um, flour is a little bit more sticky than the regular one. So I had to spread my mixture my dough with a spoon and it looks like it's gonna be okay but um it was a little bit too thick so just keep that in mind if you want to use the same flour just you, you will have to spread it with a with a spoon it's looking beautiful can you see my tofu is here look at this green beauty <laughs> turned out fantastic this is beautiful Pretty proud of myself. Now this is something I've been eating for almost every day. Um, it's chopped veggies. I think I got cucumber, tomato, uh, canned corn, a little bit of tofu, onion, and natural yogurt. And I just put it in my wrap and it's good. Quite good with proteins and super easy to make and cheap. So I highly recommend. <laughs> So this is probably not my best recipe <laughs> in the world. As you can see, the wrap is just breaking, but it tastes really good. I like it much better than chickpea flour, but unfortunately the texture isn't working the best, but it's good. So if you don't mind the tortilla breaking in the middle, yeah, it's not bad. I finished my breakfast and I'm feeling like shit. So, I just got to my bedroom and I think I'm just gonna take a nap and I'm just gonna call it a day. Um, hopefully I'm gonna feel a little bit better. Um, my temporary housemate, Emma, gave me some multivitamins. I don't know if that's gonna help, but uh, it's definitely not gonna make me feel worse. So I took some vitamins and dr trying to drink a lot of water because I feel like I have a small fever and uh, I wanted to show you a different day. It was supposed to be more active and I wanted to show you the, um, a little bit more of Changu, but it is what it is, life. <laughs> At least I'm happy that I made it to the gym in the morning and I finished writing a full script, pretty accomplished today. But even though I had a good and productive day, I feel like a loser. Um, I can't even describe it too well, but I feel 
my self-confidence is not the highest right now. So I feel that no matter how much I do, no matter how much I work, I feel that it's never enough and I feel like I'm a failure. So even now when I'm feeling so bad, my throat is hurting and I feel dizzy because of the fever, I feel like I could have done more and I feel that I'm just being lazy. Oh, I need to change the way I'm thinking. I'm sure I'm gonna change that because um, I am working on a therapy. So changing my mindset, I'm changing the way I, in, I'm changing the way my inner, vo inner voice works as well. Uh, but it's gonna take a while. Just wanted to show you that it's not only me in the bed. I have my baby peanut over here. She's feeling a little bit better. She's sleeping, so that's a good that's a good thing after puking. And I guess I'll see you later, guys. I'm gonna take a nap, checking out. I've just finished my uh, therapy session, and right after five minutes in, I started crying and lost my shit. <laughs> no, I didn't lose my shit, but I started crying, and I was crying throughout the whole session. Um, but I guess this is something I needed. We are working on my self-confidence and my self-confidence is barely existing um well maybe it's not that bad i'm building it slowly 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 but i hope surely and uh we've been discussing some stuff that is very difficult for me so uh, for instance my inner voice is just killing me i've read a lot about inner voice and this is something that i've been working on but i am a, a very very strong critic of myself so I think that everything I do, I think that everything I think is bad <laughs> and it's not enough. So for instance, I went to a gym today and I did, I think it was an hour and 20 minute workout and I didn't feel accomplished. I felt that I didn't do enough. Uh, then I had a healthy breakfast and low calorie, um, high protein breakfast. So perfect for what I'm doing. I'm doing a reduction every day, a reduction diet every day, but I feel that maybe I could have eaten less, maybe it was too much, maybe I'm not putting enough effort. And then I worked, I, f I wrote a script for an episode, I edited and published another episode, uh, but I started feeling sick. So um, I went to my room and took a quick nap and I felt guilty about not doing more, I felt guilty about taking a nap. This is just constant in my head and I just can't stop it. So I got a small notebook last week and this is supposed to help me organizing my thoughts. Um, so this is a homework, a daily homework that I'm trying to do, but I, I don't write every day. I try to write every second day because it's a little bit too much for me. And my psychologist suggested something really, really interesting. So she told me that every time when I have my inner voice saying something bad about myself, uh, try to imagine that you are criticizing you, but you, your inner, inner child. Try to picture yourself when you were a kid. And she basically asked me, would you say something like this to a kid that is trying hard and putting a lot of effort and is not giving up and is doing a lot of progress? I'm like, no, obviously I wouldn't be that critical to anyone else, just me, <laughs> just to myself. So she just told me like, yeah, exactly. So if you can try to find an old picture of yourself when you were a kid and think that your inner voice is you criticizing this child you wouldn't be that cruel, right? So I think this is gonna give me a good perspective and it was another difficult session today, but I'm glad that I'm making some progress and I'm glad that I'm slowly learning um, the tools that can help me get better. Thank you so much for being in today's vlog with me. It helps me a lot that I can open up um, a little bit to the strangers, but um, opening up work as a therapy for me. So this is really healing. This is really good for my mental health. And I hope that my vlogs can help you as well. And maybe I can inspire some of you to make some changes in your life if you're feeling unwell with yourself. And you know that there is quite a lot you could work on to feel better and to 
like yourself and to get to know yourself a little bit better. I think that's all from me for today. Thank you again. And I wish you a lovely day. See you in the next vlog. Bye.